Welcome everyone to True Star Celebration of Women's History Month with our Raising Stars segment. Um, this is Deanna Nate. We are the co-founders of True Star Media, and we are celebrating women who are raising stars for the entire month. We have here today with us Marty Parham, the managing editor of True Star. Such a significant piece of our organization. Um, Marty, you've been a career mentor, um, an instructor to young people raising stars, and specifically um, was our journalism instructor and really helped us uh, with young people and their writing. What made you want to help young people out in the journalism field? Um. I would say I've always been a lover of stories mm -hmm. and um, writing stories actually came easy for me. Not easy, but it was one of those things that felt like I didn't, I didn't feel super challenged to do. Okay. And I know that a lot of young people um, go through that to where they feel like they don't know how to put a sentence together. They're struggling with their schoolwork and being a mentor was something that I was already already used to working with young people through Project Osmosis, which is a design uh, organization here in Chicago. And when I saw the opportunity to work with young people in journalism, um, I just jumped at it because it just felt like a natural fit. We know with True Star and with young people writing, you know, oftentimes gets pushed to the side because they are used to writing and text and different things. And so making sure like those skills are there. Um, Marty, yeah. you have such a vast experience in the art and media world from fashion design to, you know, writing an article, writing for the Tribune, which you wrote a write up on True Star. Thank you. <laughs> Being a former editor of Ebony and Jet Magazine, where you were the entertainment editor, amongst other things, as well as a painter and a visual artist. And now you are writing your own book. You are an author to be soon. And we cannot <laughs> wait <laughs> you are amazing. What inspires your creativity? Honestly, Black people. Black people and the Black experience inspires my creativity. Um, our stories are so special and they just don't get told enough. And if, they're, if they are told, they're only told from a certain perspective or just like a certain type of lifestyle when we have so many experiences uh, within our community. And I just wanna be one of those people who can um, share some of those experiences that aren't really heard of, or not necessarily heard of, but aren't out there so much. Yeah. I remember when I first realized that Marty was an artist, I was like, what? You did this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, Marty got skills. <laughs> Thanks. So, so talented. And, you know, what advice or insight, Marty, would you give someone who's raising a talented star like yourself, who has so many gifts and wants to go in so many directions? What advice would you give to another mentor or even a mom? <sighs> I would say to listen, listen to the kids because that's really a large part of what they want. They want to be heard. They want to, um, they want their own perspective to be out there. Mm -hmm. So if you listen and if they ask for your help, you can give it to them. Otherwise, just having somebody to talk to is a huge thing. But then if you do have some advice to offer, make sure that you're not talking at them, but talking to them. Like have a straight up conversation. Not, um, well, back in the day when I was, you know, don't do that type of stuff. I mean, if they want to know like what it was like when it was, you know, at your age or whatnot, then they'll ask you. But um, just listen to them and talk to them on their level. Talk to them in a way that's going to be relatable. Um, I think... I think that's it. That's pretty much the biggest part. Yeah, that's that's great advice. I mean, that's I, I feel like that's the number one thing. You know, we want to be heard. They want to be heard. Mm -hmm. and, and they're little humans. <laughs> right. 
And um, that's really what True Star is about. It's about honoring and valuing young people's perspective and their voice right. and amplifying it. And that's why, you know, you've just been such a great part of the True Star family. We appreciate everything you do, Marty. Um, we are happy to celebrate you during Women's History Month. Um, and thank you for raising stars and planting seeds and so many young people, some who are sitting behind news desks right now yes. and, and publications and, and all type of things. Is there one moment, Marty, or story that sticks out to you with True Star? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, one, of, one of the stories that I tend to tell a lot of the kids um, is, a story about, I hope she won't be mad for me telling her name, <laughs> a story about Shaquille Roberts. Uh, when, uh, she, she is truly one of True Star's stars because she came in, she knew she wanted to write. She was more of a creative writer because mm -hmm. um, I think she liked poetry and things like that. Yeah. But, but by the time, for, and you know what, she won um, the Walgreens competition like a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> so the girl's got, she's got talent. But I remember she, remember when we had to um, submit grades, there was one point where we had to have all the kids submit their grades yeah. to a program or something like that. And when Shaquille turned in her grades, they were not the best. <laughs> they, they were not even the best of the best. And I was like, girl, what are you doing? How can you write the way that you write and have these grades? And it was ba it basically came down to the fact that uh, I don't think she felt challenged in school. Okay. And writing was her thing. That was like her escape. That was fun for her. So, and I remember, I remember coming to Deanna like, Deanna, we gotta, we gotta. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't kick her out of the program. We gotta, we gotta keep her in here. We gotta use her. And she, she just turned out to be one of our prize kids. And in fact, all of her articles that she, you know, that she had, she put them together in the portfolio, and that's what helped get her into college. Yep. Wow. So that story is like one of my favorites because it was that portfolio. You know, they looked at her grades and they were just like, okay. But when they saw that portfolio and saw what she could do. And her thing, you know, it was just like, boom. I think it's it's amazing that, you know, you have a story like a Shaquille Roberts and we're all like, yes, Shaquille, you know, like it's, it's so amazing to see where she came and, you know, her progression and how she's able to come back and help the organization at any point that we call, you know, Shaquille it was there. And I think that it's great that she chose a female as a story um, because we are honoring Women's History Month. And can you tell us why you think it's so important to support Black women? Black women are the bomb. I mean, let's face it. <laughs> we, we are, we are. are. We, I, mean, I mean, honestly though, we have a lot of power. Mm -hmm. And to bring that together, like Black women coming together would just be amazing. And working with you two has been so easy and so much fun and it's just a joy you know it's like oh it's work but the stuff the stuff that i like to do you right. know, i like working with people that i like to work with it's it's just great <laughs> <laughs> It's such a blessing to work with both of you amazing women. I can't say it enough. Like you said, Marty, working with people you enjoy, people you will hang out outside of work with no problem. Right. <laughs> it means a lot. And so um, we just want to, again, thank you and um, just tell you how important you are and how much we appreciate your, your gift, your smile, everything that you poured into the organization and to young people. And so we need you all to support us so we can keep going. So obviously True Star cannot be what we are without donations and without donors. And so <laughs> this Women's History Month, we are asking for you to give, to give to elevate.truestarfoundation.org. It could be $1, $5, 
five dollars ten no amount is too small um we want to keep going we want to keep you know investing in young girls um and investing in uh a, a clearly a woman-led organization that's just trying to um you know change the world and, and change the lives of young people so thank you again miss marty Parn. we cannot wait to the book drops yes. <laughs> um, and uh again we just appreciate you so thank you everyone Bye -bye. thank, thank you. you marty thank you everyone Bye.